A hot one today across Metro Vancouver. Areas away from the water with the Humidex will be feeling into the low 30s and we're underneath a mainly sunny sky. Not quite record breaking, but we're close to the average for this time of the year. 23 will be the high. Average sits at 22. That's closer to the water. A record on this day, 28 degrees. That was set back in 1994. Official sunset this evening, closer to 904. So the plan, especially away from the water, 28 with the Humidex into the low 30s. We'll still have a few clouds in the mix and temperatures dipping down to 16 for an overnight low. One area across the province that we are tracking that wet weather along the north and central coast should start to taper off as we get in towards this evening with the chance of showers, but there is some cloud cover across the central interior, a few isolated showers and more cloud cover, especially for the southern interior, but still remaining hot with those temperatures into the low 30s and then it eases off. We've got plenty of sunshine in the long range and this will be the big weather story that we're following. Ridge of high pressure continues to build with even with temperatures even hotter as we get in towards next week. We'll likely see the peak of the heat for Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. That's areas along the south coast and still remaining hot for the southern interior for Thursday, Friday and towards the end of the month. It'll still be hot and dry for all areas across the province. We're not tracking any precipitation in the near future, so be prepared for the heat as it gets even hotter in towards next week. Now areas across Metro Vancouver, it's inland that will see those temperatures into the low 30s. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, we've highlighted there and for the interior it could get closer to 40 degrees as we approach Wednesday, Thursday, and potentially still leading in towards Friday. You'll have to keep the sunscreen handy, stay hydrated. We'll see the UV index soaring across the board. Now with the dry conditions, a quick update once again from the fire danger rating. We are seeing it now between moderate to high and it is creeping up for the southeastern corners of the province where we could be tracking extreme over the next little while. Now the northeastern corners of the province, the outlook through the day today mainly cloudy sky. We've got more sunshine in the mix and then it does start to warm up by Tuesday. We'll see highs up to 28. White horse with a few isolated showers in the mix. It's a touch cooler today, but it looks to rebound through tomorrow with the clearing on the way and highs up to 24. Along the north coast is where we're tracking that wet weather. Heavy at times, 15 tapering off to showers by this evening. We will still see a few isolated showers for tomorrow and then sunny and dry on Tuesday. Caribou in central interior. It's cloud cover. Just a few isolated showers possible. It heats up through next week with Tuesday getting back up to 29 degrees. Columbia and Kootenai with temperatures into the low 30s. Hot and dry for the tops in Okanagan. A bit of a breeze through the day today with gusts of up to 40 kilometers per hour. Tuesday will be bumping up to 34. Whistler will see that range in temperatures near the village at 29. Areas near Pemberton will be closer to 37 degrees on Tuesday. And also a range in temperatures for the island if you're closer to the water, low 20s. But away from the water and inland will be getting up to 30 degrees. Even the humid today ranging between 25 and 29. Long range forecast for Metro Vancouver. So we are going to be tracking those temperatures even hotter. Be prepared for the heat wave that is on the way. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, likely the peak of the heat is what we'll be watching and still hot and sunny as we get in towards the end of the month. For Monday, areas away from the water, 30 degrees and with the Humidex feeling closer to 36. Jen? Mm, nice and toasty. Thanks so much. The